President Obama pledging to take in 10,000 refugees from Syria. But one top Republican says the move brings up major security concerns. Look. We're a compassionate nation. We have to deal with this crisis. Uh, but, you know, this is, um, it could be a very reckless and dangerous uh, policy. So what are the legal hurdles to making this policy a reality? Joining us right now, Fox News judicial analyst, senior guy, Judge Andy Napolitano. Judge, can the president do this? Yes, and, and I, I share the views of Congressman Nicole that this is going to be a, a real political problem for the president when he brings these folks here. But under federal law, the president has the authority for humanitarian reasons to bring refugees in. There's an office in the State Department for this. They already have a budget. It's already funded. The president can do it on, do it on his own. And he can do it without individually scrutinizing each of these individuals. Are any of them ISIS members? Do they hate the United States? Are they coming here for evil and nefarious reasons? The, the president is, is presumed to have thought about this and resolved it before he just says, hey, there's 100,000 people. The first 10,000 get to come here at taxpayer expense. Well, I, you know, considering that these are the same people with the mindset uh, are the terrorists that will blow themselves up for the cause, why wouldn't they take on the guise of a refugee? UG would know where else to go and be a, a, um, a, a sleeper cell amongst us. Even the Pope, who has a very big heart when it comes to refugees, I, I don't go along with his economic analysis, has said ISIS is likely to be hidden among the refugees and right. the government should think twice before the taking Pope. them in en masse. Now, once they're here, Brian, I know you don't want to hear this, but this is the law. Once they're here, because the Constitution protects persons, not it's not limited right. to citizens, they have the full panoply of due process rights. That means they can go to court, and that means they get the social safety net right. that whatever state they're Fantastic. in provides them. You mean the country with $18 trillion in debt is going to continue to write checks? Yes. So Oliver North, who goes over there and is working with the refugees and has been in there when it was at the height of the war, says this about why we're in the position we're in right now. The officer to, to take 10,000 Syrian refugees may assuage the, con the conscience of the Obama administration that has precipitated this guy. They've created this. This is the direct consequence of a failure of American leadership. Uh, right, but and, and bringing them here to this country without vetting them is a very dangerous thing. This is one of those things where the president gets to act on his own and there's nothing Congress can do about it other than what Congressman McCall is doing, which is raising right. uh, alarm bells about how dangerous it could be. Hungary says, I'm building a wall. I'm shipping these refugees out. If Germany wants them, take them. We're not budging. Poland was told, open up your arms. They say, listen, we don't even have a mosque in our country. They wouldn't even be happy here. We're going to leave it the way it is. Who's wrong? Who's right? Brian, Barack Obama is looking for a personal legacy. And the next 15 months, the last 15 months of his presidency are yeah. going to be dangerous for the Constitution. Every time he sees a Syrian, he should say, oops, sorry about that red line I drew, and then erased it, because then we wouldn't have had this problem. Did that, that we red have right line now. work? I don't believe we ever uh, fell into it. I think he said, we're going to ask Congress, and i got to go golfing. Right. That's what happened. Judge, good to see you. Pleasure, Brian. All right.